Hey, hey, first grader. Thank you for joining me today for reading. I need you to only go ahead and grab your blue reading book, okay, with the 1.1. And today we're going to start on the same page we did yesterday, page 96, 96. And that was the page with this big picture of some people at, looks like some sort of lodge or a campsite. Okay, so go ahead and pause me if you need to to find your book and this page, then we will get started. Go ahead and press play whenever you're ready. Okay. Boys and girls, yesterday we talked about words that end with the S sound. Okay, sometimes they sound like S and sometimes it sounded like Z. Okay, yesterday we talked about the ending S. Today, we're going to talk about a different ending. This ending, hmm sounds like this. Ing. Can you say that? Ing. Good job. Ing. And just like yesterday when we said this man picks up the can, ing also tells us what someone is doing. So we could also say he is picking up the can. Can you say picking? Picking. Good job. He's picking up the can. This person back here is taking a picture. Wow, if I segment and blend that word, taking. Ooh, did you hear that ing at the end? Taking. That's the ending we're going to look at today. So we have two endings this week S, and now we have ing. All right. Can you find somebody else in the picture? Let's see, if can we find one more person that's doing something? Ooh, what is this man and the boy at the bottom doing? They're eating. Nice job, they're eating. Great. Go ahead and set your book down in front of you. We don't need to look at it for a moment. Now we're gonna look at my board. So give me five and four, three, two, and one. Now I know you're ready to learn. Our I can statement today says, I can read words with the ending ing or I-N-G, okay? I can read words with the ending ing. Will you read that with me now? I can read words with the ending ing. Good job. So here are examples of the, the words we talked about yesterday where we have this S at the end as our ending. So in this word we have d Digs, digs. Ooh, that's where that S kind of makes the Z sound. Digs, okay? And then this word, we have the base word eat with the ending S. So my word is eats. Nice job, okay? Let me show you a base word that we could add the ending ing to. Okay, here's my word. Segment and blend it. Fix. Fix. Good, I'm gonna add the ending I-N-G to that, okay? So when we get to this part of the word, we don't say ing, ing, no. The sound is ing, can you say it? Ing, nice job. So now we have f-i-x-ing, good. Let's do it together. F-i-x-ing, fixing, awesome. Okay, let's see. Can Mrs. Gears think of another word? Ooh, I like this one. Here's my base word. What is my base word? C. Good job. If I add my ending, now what's my word? Seeing. Seeing. Awesome. All right, ready to practice with me? You're going to go ahead and pick that reading book up again. And we're going to turn one, two pages. Okay, now we see these longer words today because they had that ending ing at the end. All right, we're looking at those yellow words. Now, sometimes if you're like, ooh, that's a lot of letters to look at, if you want to first cover up the ing and look at the base word and figure that part out first, it might be easier to read. Okay, why don't we use that strategy? Let's cover up the ing at the end, and let's see, that first word, if I segment and blended it, and you do it with me, p 
pack, pack. Ooh, okay. Pack ing. What's the word? Packing. Good job. Let's cover up the next words ending. K amp. K amp. What's that word? Camp. Good. Camp ing. Camping. Nice job. Mm. Okay, cover it up. I have a word that starts with an M. Miss. Miss? Ing. What's the word? Missing. Good. Can you figure out this next one by yourself with the H? If you want to f cover up the ending, cover up the ending. Find the base word first. What do you think that base word is? Hand. Good. Handing. What's my word? Handing. Nice job. Now, holy moly, this one has a lot of letters. Here's my ing. Cover it up. Find your base word. Spilling. Spilling. Let's read these words one more time. Let's start at the top. Okay. We have packing. Packing. Camping, camping, missing, missing, handing, handing, and spilling, spilling. Good work. All right. Sentences I can read at the bottom. Sentence number one starts with mech. Let's whisper read it to ourselves as best we can until Mrs. Garris says stop. Ready? Starting with Mac. Here we go. Mac is packing for his camping trip and missing mom. Good work, first grader. You want to try that one again with me? Mac is camping for his... Whoops, Mrs. Garris made a mistake. We have to go back and start over. Mac is packing for his camping trip and missing mom. Mom. Nice job. Go ahead and try sentence number two now. Whisper read till I say stop. Okay, stop. Hope you got most of the words. If you didn't get all the way through, don't worry. Let's do it together with will. Here we go. Will is handing his glass to Sam and spilling his milk. Let's do it again. Will is handing his glass to Sam and spilling his milk. Uh oh. Okay, boys and girls, which ing words do you see in that sentence number two? What words have the ending ing? The first one is. Handing. Good job. And what's the other one? Spilling. Good. Find the word spilling. Yeah, spilling. Go ahead and take a, take a note in your mind that has that I-N-G at the end. Whew. Great job, boys and girls. I need to take a big deep breath. If you'd like to take some breaths with me, or you can get up and wiggle for a minute, because next we get to read our story. I'm going to take three big breaths, and when I breathe in, I'm going to bring my shoulders up to my ears. When I breathe out, I'm going to roll them back and down. Okay, ready? Whew. Shake it out a little bit. All right, I feel better. I'm going to keep my blue reading book, boys and girls, and I'm going to just turn one page to this story called A Fox and a Kit. And I'm going to set it down on my lap because before we start reading it, I want to read you our I can statement. Okay? Remember, when we comprehend, that means we, I, understand what I read. Okay? It's very important that we understand what we read. And this week, our I can statement says, I can tell what a text is mostly about. Okay, remember text is another word. It can also mean story. 
It's just any sort of book or text that we can read that might have something it's telling us about, okay? I can tell what a text is mostly about. Remember that question, what is this mostly about? We're going to read A Fox and a Kit today and we're going to decide what we think is the main idea. The main idea is what it's mostly about. And then we'll also talk a little bit today about details. Details are those little parts of the main idea that tell us more about it, okay? All right, let me put this one down. We have a fox and a kit. Please follow along in your book because mine, you're not going to be able to see super well. I'd rather you have your own finger on your book reading those words with me. Oh, go back boys and girls. I always like to look at our genre bubble before I start our story. Our genre bubble is orangish this week and it says it is a literary nonfiction. That's a fancy word. Literary nonfiction. Let's see what that means. It tells facts about the real world. It is sometimes told like a story. You will read about a fox and her kit at the zoo. Ah, so, literary nonfiction. Now, nonfiction means something's real. But a literary nonfiction text tells me something about the real world, but it might tell it like it's a story. So, that's kind of cool. It's going to sound like a story, but I'm going to learn some things. All right, let's see how the fox takes care of her kit. And on most pages, you'll see there's a clock here. So, it tells us when the fox and the kit do certain things. Here we go. It is four. This fox naps on the rocks. Her kit naps on the rocks too. So at four they take a nap. The kit sits up. His mom sits up. Ooh, I heard sits and sits there on that page. I'm remembering now those endings on those letters, the S, that's telling what they're doing. Sits up. See what time it is now. Ooh, it is what? Five. Yeah, it's five. This man is fixing. Ooh, ing. This man is fixing dinner. The kit and his mom will eat. So they eat at five o'clock. The kit is licking his lips. His mom is licking her lips. Will you read that page with me again? The kit is licking his lips. His mom is licking her lips. Why do you think they're licking their lips? You think they're just doing that for fun? I think they just finished eating, right? They're probably trying to get all the goodies off of their mouth. Trying to clean themselves up. Oh, look. The kit is, ooh playing. His mom is playing. The kit nips and tags his mom. Okay. The kit is on the, did you know that word? Rocks. Good. If you're following along, then you know what word you're looking at right now. His mom will get him. She picks him up and takes him back. <laughs> Kit must not be able to be on the rocks by themselves. The kit spots his mom. His mom spots him. Will you read that page with me again? The kit spots his mom. His mom spots him. Great. What, is it, what does it mean by spots? Are they putting little spots on each other? Mm, no. Look, they're looking at each other, right? When you spot something, you see it, okay? We like to watch this kit and his mom. We can watch lots of animals. Remember, they said it was a story at the zoo. So this, this is a kit and a fox that live at the zoo. Cool. Thank you for sharing that story with me, first graders. Now, I'm gonna ask you that big question that I told you I would ask you a lot this week. What is this story mostly about? 
What would the main idea be? What do you think that story is mostly about? There are two things that are really important, right? That it's mostly about the fox and who? Yeah, it's about a mother fox and her kit. Okay, it, it gives us lots of information about that fox and the kit, right? That all that information would be like what our details are. So if I would, were to say, oh, the main idea is, um, is about a fox and a kit, but there's some details in here. One of the details is they eat at 4 p.m., right? Oh, no, they didn't eat at 4 p.m., Mrs. Garris. They napped at 4 p.m. That's a good detail, okay? What else did you learn about the fox and the kit? Besides that they nap at 4 p.m., what else did we learn about the fox and the kit? They had to eat dinner, right? Okay, so we know they nap at four and they eat dinner at five. And here's a great page showing a detail. What else do they like to do? They like to play. See all these details we're coming up with that follow the main idea? The main idea is the story is mostly about a fox and her kit and, and how they live at the zoo. And we know details about they like to play, they eat at five o'clock. They nap at four o'clock, okay? And it also teaches us how the fox takes care of the kit. Why do you think the fox took the kit off the rocks when the kit was on the rocks by themselves? What do you think? That mom's trying to take care of the kit, so that must not have been a very safe choice, maybe? Hmm, interesting. All right, first graders, well, that is all we have for today. Head over to Seesaw and finish the activity that goes along with our reading today. And we will talk more about the fox in the kit tomorrow and a little bit more this week. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you keep thinking about this main idea when you're reading from now on. See you soon!